uh, Rupert Knowles and I'm a um, solution expert on Adobe's digital publishing suites. So today we wanted to get together um, some of our customers and ask them to share some of the stories and experiences that they have with DPS. We, we're seeing Adobe's digital publishing suite used in a huge number of different um, areas, verticals, but also different types of use cases. Um, and we wanted to allow customers to see the variety of different ways in which people are um, taking advantage of the uh, DPS platform. I think what we're seeing is more and more consumers are now um, used to getting magazines uh, via their devices on their mobile phones and the expectation now are, are, are amongst the general public is that's you know, a way in which I want to consume data. And what we're seeing, the shift now, is more and more corporates are now realising that they want to emulate <coughs> what the traditional publishers have been doing. So now corporate, um, every corporate business is a publisher and um, they're seeing the, uh, the opportunity now to deliver uh, engaging content on devices and deliver that to their internal customers um, but also their external customers as well. So it's really about um, enlarging the, uh, the number of people that, that can take advantage of this platform. I think the reason why we talk about designers is designers are some of the best communicators in our society. Um, they've got those skills uh, to be able to relay uh, ideas and information in very creative ways. And they're often some of the best people in which to um, offer some of this content. But developers also play a part as well. Um, you know, they, they can provide some of the, the integration to systems that businesses already have. And I, I think they, they also play, play an important role. So I think there's, um, we, need, we need to speak about both developers Analytics are, are incredibly important. If we think of the world of print, how hard it was to actually get readers' feedback, um, incredibly difficult. You'd send out some uh, researchers and ask people, you know, how did they look at the content? What did they read in an article? Very, very difficult. And now, of course, in the age of digital, we can provide a huge range of different types of information and metrics about how content's being consumed, what people are looking looking at. And this really allows people and businesses to look at the return on the investment to find out how effective a publication is, is it working for me, which parts are most popular. And they can then change the editorial and change the content and optimise it at a later date. So I think analytics really changes the way in which um, businesses offer content and, and, and really realise the value that they're getting from the platform. Um, I think one of the, one of the um, industries that's really um, jumped on DPS and jumped on digital publications as a platform is the, uh, the motor industry, car manufacturers. I think for car manufacturers, brand is so important. And if I'm going to spend a large amount of money on a, on a new vehicle, um, I want to be able to really see and feel what that vehicle is going to be like. So companies like Audi, for example, um, they deliver all of their brochures um, using DPS. They have the different models, they're able to update the new model information for the new vehicles um, when they come out, but they're also able to um, deliver their um, Audi magazine into the same application, they can deliver um, accessories, information on the accessories, uh, and other information uh, about the group. So they're using one application to deliver different types of, uh, different types of publications, model information um, through, through to their magazines. I think traditionally perhaps public sector hasn't been at the forefront. I think one of the interesting stories from today was when um, one of our speakers, um, Keith Quinn from the um, Scottish Social Service Council, was actually showing how he was able to um, use the platform um, to deliver e-learning and he showed real, um, real cost savings there uh, through the platform. So I, I don't think they should be excluded from this. It's just about being able to tell stories and, and explain how different industries can, can use the platform. I think I'm still surprised by the number of uh, pinch and zoom publications that I see out there. Um, you know, when you, you open up the application and to be able to read it, you have to zoom into the text and then you're scrolling around with your finger and you think, you know, the tablets have been around for a while now. I, you know, shouldn't they be optimising that content for the device, at least making sure I can read it without pinching and zooming? 
It's personally some of my favourite um, DPS, DPS apps on mobile, the Lakeland app. Um, I love cooking and the Lakeland app, based on the, uh, from the High Street shop, they produce a beautiful, beautiful magazine with a lot of recipes, um, a lot of interactivity, um, they really bring um, a lot of that cooking um, to life, allows you to create shopping lists and, and those sorts of things, so that's one of my favourites. Um, I also like some of the, the car magazines, I'm currently looking uh, to get a new car, and with the car magazine, the car uh, brochures, it really allows you to explore the vehicle. You can look at 360s of the car, both the outside and the inside. You can go through and change the colour and see, see what the car looks like um, in, in different particular schemes, for example. So it really allows you to explore the car in, in, in a different way, um, in a more enhanced way. So those are, those are some of my personal favourites. I think the first one is to make sure that you keep your content up to date. Um, there's, there's nothing like stale content to put people off, so try and make sure that you keep your content up to date, you keep publishing um, uh, new publications to really get customers to come back. Um, I think the other thing that's really important is to, to keep it fun, make it engaging, um, you know, make sure it's high quality of course, but also put in some fun content in there and, and bring it to life and that will really engage people and they'll then show their mates or they'll share it um, and that can really help um, bring it to life. Um, and I think the last one is probably about having a consistency across different channels as well, making sure that the content and the message and the branding is consistent across print, across web, um, but, but also mobile as well.